Teledyne LaCroix's Sierra M124 now includes iScanner for generating quick signal integrity measurements across a SAS link. It's helpful for tuning the analyzer. You can assess the signal integrity by capturing a snapshot of the eye before and then after the auto calibration process. If you're working in SAS 12 gig, you're probably already aware that in some situations you may need to calibrate the analyzer. With certain setups, errors can appear in the analyzer that aren't real, where the link under test appears fine. You can see these in the analyzer status window. The error indicator keeps flashing, but there's no retries, there's no check conditions. In the captured trace, they'll show up as running disparity or symbol errors. And this typically will only appear after you've changed something in the setup, like a drive or a cable. So when you run into this, you'll want to go to the Setup Device Settings menu, which opens up to the Auto Calibration window. The same error indicators are visible here, and they really just mimic the error LEDs on the front of the analyzer. So it continues to detect the occasional errors on T1 and T2. So you could just run the Quick Fix calibration right here, but let's first switch to the iScanner tab. In the iScanner tab, it's easy to just scan all four ports, or you can select the individual links that are showing errors. Links 1 and 2 are the worst case channels on this setup here. We start the analysis. This dialog requires no adjustments. You might reduce the dwell time if you want the test to run a little faster, but it's very quick. On completion, it opens with eye representations for each of the links we scanned. It's a pretty poor looking eye on T1 and T2. This is the kind of problem you can see if you're using longer cables or basically a longer channel between phi's. The eye diagram is synthesized at the analyzer's receiver. You're presented with these thumbnail images. So again, what we're looking at is from the perspective of the analyzer. This is what, what's hitting the analyzer FPGA. Zooming in on T1, you can see the eye is barely open. You may want to save this image for comparison later. So to remove these errors, we'll go back and run the quick calibration. It looks like we'll just need to calibrate T1 and T2. We're actually using algorithms here to adjust pre-shoot and de-emphasis, and then measure the results in real time. We select the ports we want to calibrate, each link is processed sequentially, then it'll report when it's complete. Remember, this does not affect the signal under test. This won't help you if the link's not coming up, but it generally will resolve errors, bit lock errors, really. We'll go back into iScanner and rerun the scan. Only real requirement here, you need to be connected to the analyzer with an active link. It's fine if it's in logical idle or if there are data transfers going on either way. Once it finishes with the rescan, you should see some improvement in the eye. You can double click to zoom in on any of these diagrams. And if I maximize the screen, the target side looks much better after the calibration. Switching to the 3D view allows you to look a little more closely at the rise and fall times. You can navigate by clicking and holding and dragging the image around. Back to the 2D view now. Again, let's save the calibrated eye. I'll reopen the first scan. And in general, a lot of ISI was impacting the signal here. Comparing that to the after calibration, it looks a lot better. If errors persist, you'll need to use the advanced auto calibration, which really does the same thing, only it tries every possible combination of DFE. So it takes much longer. But it's the same basic troubleshooting sequence. Run the eye scanner, then run the calibration, rerun the eye scanner, check for improvement.